Hello, my name is William. I am the owner of Electrical Panel Experts. We're really excited today because we're gonna do some testing on some panels. Uh, that's why we're doing the video. We're gonna start off with the brand new Leviton panel. We wanna show you what a breaker is supposed to do when there is a short circuit. This is so a Leviton begin. panel, brand new. I really like these panels because they're easy to install and really fast to terminate. We have a 20 amp breaker. It's powered by a 100 amp main breaker. So we're gonna do a short circuit testing on this panel. It's gonna be from hot to neutral and then from hot to ground. Basically, I wanna show you what a breaker is supposed to do. I've transferred the power from the Leviton panel to the Federal Pacific panel. To give you some specs on this unit, it is 37 years old. It came out of a house in Forney, Texas, zip code 75126. I'm going to test each 20 amp circuit in this panel. Actually, they're just 20 amps. That's the lowest breaker size in this unit. Uh, it's being fed by a three wire system typically in homes this with this age that's how they're powered it's with three wires so let's do some testing i'm going to pause here and just say do you remember how quickly this one tripped and how slow this one tripped so in a short circuit a breaker is supposed to trip instantly to protect you and your home or your business these federal pacifics are known not to trip and i just showed you that they don't trip so it took three times for it to finally trip so that was from hot to neutral now let's see what it does from hot to ground, which I'm expecting it to do the same. It acts like a welder. It's crazy. Look at that, my goodness. There's the one. Let's try it again. Goodness. Finally trip. Wow. The first time I tested the breaker, it grabbed on and it tripped. Then I reset it, turned it back on, and it didn't trip till after a while. It literally acted like a welder. So that's what we're doing today. We're raising awareness that if you have one of these panels in your home or in your business, is it worth keeping it? By the way, this panel never had any issues. And that's what I keep hearing over and over. But whenever that issue arises in your home, 50-50 chance that it's going to trip or that it won't trip. 
And if it doesn't trip, as you can see, it causes arcing and arcing causes fires. So is it worth keeping in your home? Let's keep testing. Wow. I believe this is the one that tripped in the time lapse that I did the first time. But as you can see, after I reset it, it didn't want to trip again on the first time when there was a short circuit. So there's no guarantee. All right, this one's probably the, one of the better ones in the panel. Here's another breaker that is better than the other one. So that makes two breakers, which is better. All right, so that completes our testing for today. This is P1, panel one. It's our very first testing. We're very excited. We have several more to come, but we're not done with this panel just yet because we need to do an overload test. An overload test means that I have to put on uh, several loads to that circuit in order for it to trip. So for example, like a hairdryer, microwave, fridge, um, you know, it could be a variety of loads. So when it hits its peak, it's supposed to trip. Uh, so that'll be next time, stay posted for that. So my name is William again, electrical panel experts at your service. Our number is 214-551-2907. I am a master electrician and Basically, we want you to be aware of these Federal Pacific panels. They are no good. It, it is not worth the risk to have them in your home or in your business. So give us a call. We would love to come out, give you a free estimate, and we offer financing, 0% uh, in some cases. Um, so we're very happy. It would be our pleasure to go to your property and look at what you have and give you that free estimate. So God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.